Welcome back. It's Saturday night. It's 24 minutes past nine at night. I'm supposed to be having dinner, entertaining a young lady, and I'm here, and I'm going to do the fastest video ever, and it's going to be on how to get this login working. I actually have a lot to do, but I'm going to do this as quick as I possibly can. Let's open up the login page, okay? And I'm going to set the form location at the top of the code. Form location equals base URL. It's going to go to your account forward slash submit underscore login. That's the form location now set. I'm going to go to the opening form tag, action equals, and I'm going to use PHP short code to echo out that form location, method equals post. Now I'm going to do a little bit of indenting because these labels and whatnot are confusing and I'm going to change this input email to say input text. Where it says email address right here, I'm going to change that to username or email address and then I'm going to say name equals username value equals PHP code username and then this type I'm going to change to text. Okay, that looks good. Thank you very much. Next line, I'm going to do name equals P word. And then on the placeholder, I'm quite happy with it saying P word. Next, on the checkbox, I'm going to say name equals remember. That's the vibe. Finally, on this button at the bottom here, I'm going to say name equals submit value equals submit with an uppercase s. The form is now ready. However, it gives us an error message. Why does it give us an error message? It gives us an error message because it does not know the username. So I'm going to go into your account, your account singular, sorry, and I'm going to say username is this, input post, username, comma, true. And then I'm going to delete this line here. And now the form is going to load perfectly. Okay. It's going to send people who fill this out to your accounts forward slash submit login. That will bear a striking resemblance to submit. So I'm going to copy submit, paste it in and change it to submit login. Now the form validation will not test repeat password and it will not test email. As a matter of fact, it's not even going to use this as unique thing. However, it is going to do a callback. So I'm going to write in here callback username check. We've actually used callbacks before in the past. We used callbacks on store items. So I'm going to go to store items, copy these two lines from the top here, and I'm going to paste into your account. Then I'm going to scroll to the bottom of store items. Remember, that's where the callbacks live. When I'm doing code, they're always at the bottom, so I know where to find them. And I'm going to paste that in, and I'm going to rename it to username check, okay? Now, um, this string here, well, let me scroll back up again. Um, right, when we run validation with username check, it's passing in the submitted string, okay? And we're going to have to do a query on the database because we are checking the uh, it might be the username or the email address. We, we have no way of knowing. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to open up store accounts and I'm going to go to Getware Custom. And I'm going to copy Getware Custom like so, uh, paste. And then I'm going to do a new function called get with double condition. It's going to take in call one value one and then it's going to take in call two, value two. Okay, so that's get with double condition and it's going to load up MDL store accounts and it's going to pass those variables across. Okay, so if we open up MDL store accounts, scroll down to get where custom, I'm going to copy, going to paste. I'm going to now copy uh, this vibe here. We know that this is taking in a call one and call two thing. So I'm just going to change the name of it. 
like so. And we've got this where call is value, so I'm going to paste in and then I'm going to say un or underscore where. So the top one gets call one value one, the bottom gets call two value two. And if we have a quick look at the code igniter class, you'll see that this is how we can combine those where's, okay? So uh, let me just quickly scan through. Good, 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 good. Excellent, that looks great. And get with double condition is all ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to go back to your account. I'm going to say this, load module store accounts. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to say this, load module site security. Both of those modules will come in handy. So now I'm going to say query is this, store accounts get with double condition and I'm going to clarify the variables like so. Column 1 is going to be username, value 1 is going to be the submitted string, okay? Similarly, column 2 is going to be email and value 2 is going to be the string. So this now fires the query. Now I'm going to check the number of rows returned by the query. Now if the number of rows is less than one, then I'm, that's a fail actually. So I'm going to uh, return false along with a validation error. So I'm copying from below and that's the vibe and I'm going to pass in a variable called error message. Up the top here, I'm going to set error message and I'm going to say you did not enter a correct username and or password. I'm not even going to tell them where they went wrong, okay? So, if the rows are not returned, everything is returned. Uh, if there's no rows returned by the query, it returns a fail along with the error message. Obviously, it's not item check, it's username check, okay? Otherwise, if they reach this point, it means that they have passed. So I'm going to say for each query, loading up result as row, and I'm going to say p word on table equals row p word. I'm interested in knowing what is stored on the table. And now I'm going to open up site security and we have a function here called verify hash. I'm going to uh, say result equals this site security verify hash. The plain text string is going to equal p word. And by the way, p word is going to equal this input post p word comma true. Okay, so now I'm checking the password against that hashed password, which is the p word on the table. This result is going to be true or false. Okay, if result is equivalent to true, then I'm going to uh, return true. But if the result is false, then we're going to fail again, pass back the error message, uh, and return false. That is our callback complete. Okay, now if we scroll back up here, the vibe is that if the pass form validation, then I'm going to figure out the user ID, and then I'm going to send them to a little function called in you go and that's going to send them to the private page. Okay, so um, let's talk about figuring out the user ID. Now the good thing is we don't need to load up store accounts again. It actually remembers that we have loaded up store accounts. So we can just say query is this. Actually, we have to repeat this query. I cannot think of another way of doing this and I apologize. So I'm going to just copy the vibe here, okay? And uh, it's something like that. 
and I'm going to indent. Okay, so um, let's just see. We've got the value one is going to be this input post username true and similarly value 2 is also going to be that so now we have our query here it's all happening and we're just going to loop through those results and we're going to say user ID equals row ID and then we're going to run in you go okay it's a private function so I'm going to make that here in you go and uh, I'll just say sending user user ID to the private area that'll do us for the moment okay and if we fail validation then we'll just say echo validation errors that'll do for the moment right so let's test this thing out shall we um, okay if we go to the shop here we try and log in uh, here comes some rubbish details you did not enter a correct username or password that's good now I'm going to enter a correct username and password so something like that I'm going to say sign in and now it's sending the user ID 5 to the private area thank you very much I'll see you on the next video and hopefully I'll have more time and I can go a bit slower see you soon bye